During the citrus season, in the fall and winter months, grocery stores and markets can have an array of citruses that are different colors, shapes, sizes, and flavors. But have you ever seen a citrus variety that looks a little strange and hand-like? Well, I'm Jamie from Shimmaker World, and today I'm going to talk about this unusual looking fruit called the Buddha's Hand. So, what is a Buddha's Hand? It is a type of citron citrus with finger-like appendages. The fruit originates in warm climates of East Asia and in India. It's a very unusual looking fruit. It's also known as the fingered citron. As a type of citron, it doesn't contain any juice or flesh. The center core of the fruit is nothing but bitter white pith. Unlike other citrons, Buddha's hands don't contain any seeds. They are often propagated by grafting or by cuttings. The fingers of the fruit are primarily rind. They highly resemble a human hand, and they were named due to the resemblance of the hand of the Buddha. Each fruit has different shapes and finger arrangements. They can be open hand, they can be closed hand, they can be curled hand, and they can have the appearance of multiple hands, and they can have no order at all. Buddha's hands are prized for their wonderful scent. Although the fruit itself is inedible, it has a very sweet, citrusy scent. I can smell this fruit when I pass by it in the store. I tend to leave it on a table for the scent, and you can squeeze the fingers to extract the fragrant oils. So where can you find it? I tend to see these during the fall and winter months during citrus season. They may be available more often than its counterpart, the citron. I've seen these in Whole Foods, and in Texas, they're available in a chain store called H-E-B and Central Market. Health food stores may carry them as well as Asian markets. You can find it where the trees are grown, such as in California and Florida, as well as warm Asian countries, such as in India and China. Buddha hen trees are also available in nurseries. So how much does it cost? You may pay between $5 to $9 per pound or per fruit, depending on the store. I mostly see the price as per pound. I find it fun to select this fruit because each fruit is different. So how can you use Buddha's hand? Buddha's hands are not used for direct consumption, but there are many ways to use this fruit. You can use the skin of the fruit for zesting. You can add the skin to salads, desserts, and as toppings for other dishes. They're perfect for candied citrus peel. You can dice the fingers of the Buddha's hand and make firm candied citrus pieces. Buddha's hands are perfect for decorations. Its unique appearance is perfect for a floral arrangement or a centerpiece. You can also use the fruit for its fragrance. I've left a Buddha's hand out on a counter and was able to smell the fragrance accenting the room for several weeks. I was actually able to keep the shriveled and dried remains of a Buddha's hand. It's actually an interesting item. But if you decide to do this, make sure not to wash the fruit and keep it from getting too warm. And make sure that the fruit is dry. There's so many different ways to enjoy the Buddha's hand. Buddha's hand is one of the strangest looking fruits out there, and it's definitely a visually unique citrus. They can definitely catch your eye in stores during the citrus season in the fall and winter months. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you've ever seen Buddha's hand before in your local area. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell for more videos about exotic fruits, growing exotic fruits, gardening, outdoor crafts, and more. Thank you.